My name is Armando Tabano. I am um, one of the elections commissioners for Schenectady County. We're switching over because Hava in 2002 told us that we have to change the way we do elections. I'm uh, Bolapari. I'm executive director with uh, New Yorkers for Verified Voting. We've been advocating for a type of voting system based on paper ballots and a device called ballot scanner. So the question is, what types of voting systems are the alternatives? The first alternative, and one that has been much favored by many of our election officials and uh, even some of our elected officials, are electronic touchscreen or push-button style computerized voting devices. You'll hear me refer to these as DREs. That stands for Direct Recording Electronic, because you record your vote directly on one of these machines by touching the screen or the push-button interface. The other type of system that is on the table here in New York is uh, paper ballots and precinct-based ballot scanning systems. This type of system is based on a hand-marked paper ballot and uses computerized devices to provide accessibility for the disabled and as an automated way to count those hand-marked paper ballots. That's sort of the key difference between these two types of systems. The ballot scanning system involves a hand-marked paper ballot. Let me tell you why I and so many other people have concerns about DREs. What is it that upsets us about it? Technologists, people that understand computer security have taken a good look at these machines and we're shocked to find how little actual security seems to be built into these machines. Uh, in Kamal County, Texas, 2002, they had three winning candidates. Each one of them tallied exactly 18,181 votes, three in a row, uh, which everybody said, well, that's pretty odd, but they never audited it. Well, a computer programmer knows that in this numeric notation that we programmers use, a one is the number for the letter A, and an eight is the number for the letter H. So if we substitute the letters 18,181 three times in a row, this is what we get. Ha 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 ha. So was this a hacker? Well, who knows? One of the problems with DRE systems, particularly paperless systems, is there's no way to go back and check. All you have is the results. Okay, my name is Louis Sanders. Uh, I'm the election Republican the Republican election commissioner for Essex County. I'm in favor of the DREs, no question. I've been to all the conferences. I know all these commissioners personally through the whole state. And I, I think 70% of them are in favor of DREs. I'm Suzanne M. Scarper. I'm the town clerk for Lee. Uh, we use um, optical scan, um, and it's called an AccuVote machine. We did have lever machines uh, prior to this. Okay, how many lever machines uh, and how many optical scan machines? We had eight lever machines, and now we're down to just the one AccuVote machine. In the 2004 election, uh, how many voters voted on that one optical scan machine? 3,200. We had a very good turnout. Now, you read into that whatever you want, but in my opinion, it's going to create long lines. Were there lines to, to wait, or, or did it move along fairly quickly? Uh, we, have, um, we have 35 marking booths, so 35 people can mark at the same time. Uh, we never had a line. The line generated from the um, checkout table. So as far as the scanner itself is mm -hmm. concerned, uh, 3,200 people voted and there was never a line? Nope, not for the machine, not for the marking booths. Uh, it's, it, it's a lot quicker than what we used to have. We used to have long, long lines. If you were going to explain optical scan to someone who had never tried it before and you only had 10 seconds, how would you explain it? Uh, you would go in, you would uh, give your name to the check-in table, you would get your ballot, go to the ballot booth and mark your ballot, and then put it in the machine and you're done for the day. <laughs> My name is Tom Turco. I'm the Republican Commissioner of Elections here in Ulster County. And I am first vice president of the Election Commissioners Association of New York State. The Election Commissioners Association issued a review of voting machines in June of 2005. 
that same report calculates the time to scan a ballot as an average of 30 seconds. And that was footnoted with the comment, based on consistently using a machine with no delay. I have seen it. Was I part of this uh, report? No. But I have seen this OptiScan demonstrated at, at a, uh, one of our conferences. How long did it seem to take uh, to scan a ballot? I didn't really time it. I, I, I just, in general, looked at, you know, did it, did it just shoot right through there? No. You know, and it's not going to because the scanner is also computerized and it is required to read that ballot and then make adjustments. So, you know, it doesn't just fly right through there. Well, as far as what we have as reliable information, we have what we see demonstrated by the vendors, and we have the certification process. Larry. Yes. We uh, wanted to uh, record you showing us your new machine. Okay. You want to, want to run us through your little demo? Sure, absolutely. Can you describe Sequoia's testing process? Well, we have to follow our own. We have, I don't even really know our own testing procedure, quite frankly, in the election. But surely there must be some in-house testing. Yeah, and they, and they do that, and uh, quite frankly, I don't know. We expect it to be a one-to-one -one replacement for the, uh, the lever voting machine. Um, I must also mention that this system is not a computer. Do you have any sense of how many people can process through a voting system in, say, an hour? How many people can use a machine in a set amount of time? Uh, that, that, that fact, that statement is going to be hard to respond to. Have you seen other projections or, or data from other states as to relative costs? No. No. We see high failure rates when we do realistic testing. Now, what do I mean by realistic testing? Well, the way a lot of election officials test DRE is they bring it in, they turn it on, is it boot up? That's fine. They press one voting position each to make sure it registers, and they say, great, the machine works. And they lock it away, and then on election day will be the first real test. A real test of a voting machine would be something like California did in July 2005. They took 96 DREs and they conducted an extensive all-day test, essentially a simulated election. They set them up and they held an election all day long. You know what they found out in this realistic test? Over 20 percent of the DREs failed in some way or another, either failed to register votes, printers jamming, touchscreens not recording correctly, wouldn't boot up. Over 20% of these machines failed when they were subjected to an actual simulation of a real election day. My name is John Graziano. I'm one of the commissioners of elections from Albany County. I'm Jim Clancy. I'm the other commissioner of elections from Albany County. What is the practical experience in Massachusetts, which has used optical scan, or New Jersey, which has uh, uh, DREs? Yeah, we don't. I'm going to speak for myself. I don't care about practical use in Lee, Massachusetts, and New Jersey. I'm, going to, I'm concerned with Albany County. This is the crucial time in New York State and in the entire country. We are looking at the whole scale replacement of our voting systems by insecure electronic voting systems. We are allowing the privatization of our elections. We are giving away this public sphere to the private vendors. We cannot let that happen. And ladies and gentlemen, the time is now. If not now, when? If not you, then who?